Hey guys, it's Alicia Juliet. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the BYL Cosmetics. I got two palettes. These are the Dream Book palettes. And then I also have the limited edition one. Um, yeah. So if you want to see me conquer this look, which let me tell you, it is a process. And I lose faith in myself several times. So that is totally okay. And it's never going to be perfect, honey. So anyway, let's get to it. So the first one, I, this is the limited edition, it says. I think this one is my favorite. I think it is. Oh, my little thing fell out. Can you freaking believe that? Like, this thing is huge. Like, compare it to my head. I didn't count the shades. I don't know how many there is, but one. And here's the other one. This is just Dream Book palette. They're both Dream Book palettes, so I don't know, but beautiful. I think I got both of them for like 70 something with shipping, I believe. I actually tried to cancel the order because I wanted to buy a, one of those, um, the blackhead things, the, fuck, what do they call it? It's like getting like a microderm, like getting, it sucks out the stuff out of your pores, and I would, I wanted to buy that instead, and so I tried to cancel these, but I guess it didn't go through, and I'm not mad, I'm not mad, so now I'm going to go figure out what kind of look I want to do, and I'll be back. So this was a really hard choice, um, just because there's so many options. So I wanted to pick something colorful, obviously. Obviously. And so I'm gonna go with trying to do something like this. Probably not gonna turn out that good, but let's see. This benefits Cosmetics, professional, the professional pore primer. Professional pore primer smells great, like my grandma's perfume. As you can tell, I wore pink eyeshadow yesterday and it stained my eyelids. And anyway, first we're gonna go in with the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer and the Elf Concealer Brush. Very dirty because I got ready really fast this morning. So, as usual, underline the brow. I guess I should stop saying as usual. Some of you guys haven't been here before. Hi. That was kind of creepy, sorry. This is what a prepped eye should look like, and then you can just literally just pat it in there. If you want to use a beauty blender, go for it. I just, fingers are more convenient. You guys, there's no matte white in either of these. I'm just kidding, it's fine. So I'm just actually going to use my Morphe Jean Charles palette then and um, create a base on my eyelid with the white. I wasn't prepared for this video. Like I said, I thought my order was canceled. And then once I saw these babies, I knew I had to just get to work on them. I like to use this one to lay down my white base and it's just a wet and wild brush. I literally got this at Dollar General. Not Dollar General, Dollar Tree. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this literally everywhere I put the concealer except on my nose, just the whole eyelid. Okay, 
So first I'm gonna go in with Nappy in the limited edition palette, which is this purple over here. There's not very many dark purples in here other than the sparkles, so. And she kind of creates the wing with So I did go and extend this a little bit just because the way hers looked is like smoked out like that and I don't know how to do that so I'm hoping I'll just clean it up a little bit with concealer at the end and it will be good. Um, so next I'm going to go in with pink, can you see? Um, let's do fairy tale. <coughs> Big ass palette. Fairy tale is this boy right here. And we're just gonna kind of blend this into the purple along the crease. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Only to like right here. Yep, perfect. Okay, so next I'm gonna put this orange. It's called Out of This World, right here. I'm gonna bring that in on the crease right here and blend it with the pink. So, if I mess this up, don't give up on me, okay? I'm winging it here, and honestly, we're just trying to review the palettes, you know? We're just trying to review the palettes. I'm pretty impressed so far. Pigment is just as good as Morphe. So now, this is my dilemma. She has this dark right here and around there so I'm trying to just think if I should cut the crease first I think that's what I'll do because I always end up messing up this little dark around the crease so I'm gonna cut the crease first so then we'll go in with our concealer brush or hydrating camo concealer So the blue that this chick is using is like a shiny blue, which I don't have in this palette, so I want to use some sparkles. So I think I'm going to go in with Insomnia right here. And for these, I'm just going to use my finger because they're just kind of really glittery and I don't think applying it with the brush would really get them to stick very good. Okay. I learned that by my other sparkle palette, if you've watched my other videos, by Take Two Cosmetics. 
I was really disappointed at first because I, I couldn't get them to stick and now I can only get them to stick with my finger. So now I'm going to go into the normal um, Dream Book palette, which is kind of the more matte and shimmers. And I am actually going to go in with airplane mode. It's black right here. I'm a little scary. Okay. So she needs a little wing with it. not dark enough. So I'm going to try the other eye and then see how I feel about it. So I'm still not sure how I feel about it, but there's still more to go. So let's just keep going, I guess. Um, so um, in the picture, as you can see, the orange goes down a little farther than I actually brought it just a little bit so I'm just gonna go back in with the out of this world orange and I'm just gonna perfect and this side needs it a little bit more Ugh. I don't know how I feel about this I was feeling good no, I'm not feeling so good. I just almost just want to stop. Okay, so I just took the orange and the pink and the purple a little bit higher. Mm, boy.
So now I'm gonna go do the rest of my face so that we can clean this up and then get the bottom colors on. And some lashes on so I don't look like a rat. Just kidding, I keep looking at myself, I'm not satisfied. So I'm gonna go in with a darker purple, just kind of blend into the black because maybe that's the problem. So this is the darkest purple in the palette, which is Snooze. So let's see. Well, let's try my face and see. So, I am going to show you me doing the concealer just because I think it's essential to this look that I show you how to shape it. Okay. So, this is my new way that I've been doing my concealer. Found it on TikTok, just like a lot of freaking things, clearly. And what I want to do first for this is move my line. That's where I want it. Uh -huh. So I made that one. And then I'm just gonna go in and do my concealer how I normally would. I'm trying to be careful not to go into my orange. I'll just fix it. I'll fix it later. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera. So now I am going to go in with the orange color again, which is out of this world. And I am going to bring it from the inner corner under the eye. Mm, it's not blended enough. Just give it a minute, okay? See, this is how it should have gone. It's not that bad, but... Okay, so first I'm going to do the light purple and see what that looks like instead of the dark purple that I ended up adding. I'm 
I don't know. Let's just get some lashes on this face. And I'm going to put some white liner on. No, I'm going to use up, 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 long eyes. Where's she at? Got her. So this is um, the Illuminati Gel Paint Electric Blue Eyeliner. So I'm definitely putting this on my chair line. So I'm going to go into the inner corner with Daydream, which is just a shimmery white. And I'm just going to go in the inner corner and put just blue off. Yep, perfect. Good. So now lash time and I'll be back. Lashes always bring a look together. My lips are never gonna be this nice. Okay, don't mind that, but like, I really like this. I feel like this girl on TikTok who always does these extended eyes, and now I know how she gets herself to look like that. She's so fucking pretty, I wish I knew her name off the top of my head, but I don't. I definitely, the glitter could be a little better, but... You know, for a first time winging it, I did pretty good. And maybe someday I'll recreate this look. But here it is.